I think this is what we have now is an embarrassment of riches. I think if you look back just a year ago, we only really had two drugs approved in the U.S. One was Erlotinib and the other was Afatinib. And I think we fast forward to today, the options are expanding by the, by the month in, the, in terms of what we have in our therapeutic armamentarium for patients with EGFR mutations. So yes, we have Erlotinib and Afatinib now, uh, but now Jafitinib has made it back to the market. Uh, we have uh, very interesting data on Erlotinib plus Bevacizumab that's come out of Japan with an ongoing study now in the U.S. And we have the third generation TKIs that we think are only going to be used for resistant disease that are now moving into the front line uh, to test them uh, against first generation TKIs. So it's a very uh, crowded ring of participants uh, in terms of uh, the therapies that are available to patients.